Hi, Fred Lurton here. If you remember uh, a while ago, I talked to you about the uh, GYLS 300 uh, from JVC, how much I like the camera and how wonderful it is. Well, you know, they've upped the game and they've come up with some new firmware upgrades. And I'm really excited about these. I mean, I was excited about the camera to start with, but these are amazing. And uh, they are firmware upgrades, so that means that if you already have one of these cameras, that uh, you know you can take advantage of, uh, of these new upgrades. There's four in particular that I want to talk about a little bit. Um, along with all the other record options that this camera has, they've now included Cinema 2K and Cinema 4K. Um, for all you cinema guys out there, I'm sure that that'll make you happy. I think it's great, so now I have a lot of different options as far as records are concerned. The second thing that they've done is uh, they put a histogram in this camera. Now the histogram is something that really is useful, particularly in high contrast situations. It allows me to set exposures that tell me exactly how the sensor is recording that image. It gives me the opportunity to set the bias of exposure toward the high side, toward the low side, if I need to protect the whites or I want to dig into those shadows. This histogram gives me the opportunity to tell how that's exposing. Um, the third thing is totally unique. It's called Prime Zoom. Now Prime Zoom is exactly what it sounds like. It is the ability to zoom with a prime lens. Now the way that they do this is to utilize the extra size of the Super 35 sensor. Now we're using a uh, 50 millimeter uh, Zeiss. It's a prime lens. Chris is pushing in right now. And as you see, the exposure holes the focus holes, the quality of the lens holes. This really is, is a value. I mean, it gives us the opportunity to double the focal length of this lens. It gives us the ability to do a zoom while we're shooting. It actually gave me the opportunity, if I wanted to just stay with the prime, to push out and to assist in focus. Very, very handy. Now, not only those upgrades, but probably the most important as far as I'm concerned is that JVC has added the ability to record J-Log. Now, for those of you that don't know what log is, um, very simplistic. It's the ability to record the signal before it goes through the internal processing of the camera. Shooting in a log mode allows us to take that image and make our creative decisions in post. We don't have the pressure of having to make a decision on site. We don't have to worry about having the proper monitor that's set up. We can record it as flat, take it into post, and make our creative decisions as far as how we want that image to look while we have time and the proper monitors to do it. So those are some of the upgrades that I find particularly interesting. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I took this camera to a carnival at night and uh, shot some footage in a situation where I had very high contrast, a lot of bright lights, colored lights, a lot of shadows, nighttime. Um, and I was really impressed with the performance of this camera. Uh, we're getting ready to take a look at the, uh, at the video and I'll sort of walk you through it as, uh, as we look at it. But the thing that I want to tell you is that everything that you're getting ready to see was shot with JLog. Uh, color graded in uh, Premiere using Lumetri uh, and everything that we shot was using prime lenses so uh, not only will you see some zooms in this but you'll also see a situation where you know at times I didn't zoom but I used the extended focal length to push this 135 lens out to about a 270. So let's take a look and I'll talk you through some of the images. Now right away you'll see the advantage of shooting log nice shadow detail, uh, highlights are holding, uh, nice, nice color. Um, this was shot at night just before total darkness. This is a log file, what it looks like with no grading whatsoever. You see it's very flat, a little on the green side. Um, this is graded into black and white, which I love to do. Really gives a nice film-like look. Look at the shadow detail and the highlights. And oh, by the way, this shot was a push in all the way with prime zoom with the 50 millimeter device. I love this shot, detail everywhere. And this is what it looked like as far as the log is concerned. So you can make this color, you can make it black and white.
same kind of a thing, and then when we grade it into black and white, look how pretty that is. I just love this shot. Now this is all color corrected to the same correction, and I just uh, you know did a little sequence of whack-a-mole. You see the out of focus highlights in the background; they really pop very nicely. You've got bokeh. really blends, I think, beautifully. This also was sort of a, uh, an exercise in focus, and uh, you know, if I had talent that was staying in one place, or you know, I already had the focus puller or what have you, that'd be one thing, but these people were moving all over the place, and it was just me and the camera, so uh, you know, I was using the uh, focus assist situations that you can pull together with, uh, you know, with this uh, LS300, and you know, <laughs> it wasn't that hard to do. I just love to look at this. Look at the look at the background out of focus. Uh, kind of pops. I mean, it just feels so nice. And this, of course, is graded. Um, you know, you can make it black and white. You could make it high contrast. You can, you know, crunch the blacks. I mean, look look at the detail way in the background. You know, every place you look, you've got some nice detail. Here, over on the right, there's not a lot of light on those people. And of course, I have to get some of those, uh, you know, neon-looking shots of the rides, and uh, you know, against the, the black sky. And you know, log gives you the opportunity to really pull some nice detail out of these shots. Also, can work with the shutter to have longer than uh, the normal shutter speed. This I think was at uh, two times 360, and um, you know I just did a nice uh, wipe across here because I loved it in color and I loved it in black and white as well, and I really couldn't decide which I liked the best, so I showed them both. And log gives you the opportunity to do that. Prime zoom, 50 millimeter pullback. This is a prime zoom also. This was a 135 broken on, which I had pushed all the way out. A little tech about the prime zoom. Um, it works by reducing the active scan of the sensor, which is uh, about 4.5K, to 1920 pin 80. And what that does is it allows you to zoom in about 2.3 uh, times without affecting the quality, the f-stop, the focus, uh, any of that sort of thing. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. This is an example of uh, 135 pushed out to 270. A little tech with JLog too is um, it's actually a gamma setting which specifies the relationship between the input signal, uh, luminance range, and recorded signal. Uh, standard gamma is 709 is like I don't know 400% of the signal range, where JLog actually gives you 800% of the input range. Uh, it increases the ability to uh, capture tonal gamut just like film. Now here's a shot I really love, not because it's a great shot, but because it shows the log capabilities with the very bright lights in the back, low lights in the front, and the fact that it's ever-changing. So with that craziness, I was able to make a pretty decent shot out of this. Um, even though it's an impossible lighting situation. Thank you very much for taking time to take a look at this footage. I hope that this review of JVC's GY LS300 firmware upgrades has been useful. Fred Blurton, signing off.